guess we... I don't know. We're just in the area. I can tell by the sign. That's why I wanted to sit down here. It's like finally some area that I think holds out.
you could fit through that door. Yeah, what the hell? People used to be smaller back then. <laughs> Pretty neat. Yeah, it is. Right up underneath this green branch. You see up there? The what branch? <laughs> see this green branch that comes down? Yeah. You can see it just brown through that little opening there, right at the end of my trekking pole. <laughs> so we're walking through here. Oh, yeah. Just Dang going. Good eye. Thanks. Oh, Is that a compliment? Yeah, I'll just see that. <laughs> Actually, full disclosure, she took like one step, and then I saw her, and I, I saw brown, and then I realized it was a mule deer. <laughs> well, we've made it to our afternoon spot to kind of wait for evening. We have two really good drainages to work back towards the four-wheeler. So we're gonna wait it out and wait for evening to attack those two, or closer to evening anyway. We're gonna do some random cow calling here, but we're kind of looking over this draw. Uh, the thermals should be pushing it up and away we think there's a slope over here that they'd be betting on. That's a nice northern exposure. So, and there looks like there's some nice green vegetation as we go that way. So, I'm really liking the looks of this spot, but it's hot right now. Holy smokes, we, if you're in the sun, it's got to be a 20 degree difference. It is insane. But uh, after that encounter this morning, we're both, seems like every time we hit the calls, we expect one to come in now. <laughs> And before the trip, all we said was we wanted one encounter, just because it's such a tough unit, you know, kind of a tougher time of year that you're not going to hear a ton, probably. And now that we had the one encounter, we're like, screw that, we need another encounter. <laughs> but it's uh, definitely gave us a little more pep in our step.
battery's about to die. But Kane and I, as we're coming down the mountain, just stumbled upon a big old six point. Pick that sucker up. Oh, baby, turn that sideways. Oh, <laughs> that's a big elk. Holy crap. Wow. Let's shoot one like that. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> They're around, apparently. Holy. That's crazy. <laughs> If it wasn't so dark, I'd want to look around for the other side. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. That is nuts. That's freaking awesome. Wow. Well, day three is officially over. Um, kind of ups and downs for the day. It started off with a bang. Called in that bull, although we, I don't think we got any of it really on camera but it just ha all happened so fast all of a sudden you know you hike around for two days not hearing anything not getting any close encounters with the elk at all and then so we're just kind of sitting there and Nick's doing some cow calls not really expecting anything to happen and next thing you know I hear a branch break and look behind me and there's six by six we think or a big five by five standing looking at us at 33 yards well within bow range so that was the first lesson learned for the day just always be ready whenever you're doing a little calling sequence of any kind or anything like that just doesn't hurt to just unstrap the bow knock an arrow be ready keep looking around had we seen him coming that really good chance that would have been a dead bull pretty slow day for the rest of the day after after that bull encounter that was really cool though we were i was hanging my head for quite a bit about it and nick kept reminding me like that was a really cool encounter really cool and to finish off the day we we're trying to make it back down to the four wheeler and we dropped into this hell hole i mean just thorns everywhere super steep stuff brutal and um nick told me wait here i'm gonna go see if this route is a little better and he climbed up a little ways and all of a sudden he's like get over here and see this i had no idea what he had seen or what i go over there and there's big old elk shit <laughs> i'm not holding it out or anything that was right here left side you gotta hold it lower it's not even in the frame <laughs> that is a large bull i mean big just like crazy so that was kind of exciting so we were just talking about it the day started off with the bang with that encounter and ended off with the bang finding this right before we got back to the four-wheeler we looked around for a while for the other side but we weren't able to find it but now we just got camp all uh, kind of squared away and set up for tonight and i'm going with a peaks meal for dinner supper as nick would call it he doesn't like when i call it dinner for some reason chicken teriyaki rice I have a feeling it's going to be pretty good. And Nick says he doesn't need much food. He's just going with some peanut butter and jelly tortillas and some chips and crackers. That's what you're doing? Mm -hmm. This guy. We had, what was the total for today? Did you look? Uh, I didn't turn off the tracker. <laughs> God dang it. What's your guess? I'd say seven miles probably. Yeah, probably. Seven miles for today? I mean, 17 miles. 17, yeah, yeah right. And he's eating crackers. And cheese. And cheese. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks for watching. It was kind of a, it was exciting for us, but probably a little boring for you guys just because we didn't catch much of that encounter. But if you're still sticking along, we appreciate it. Really hope we get some excitement tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day here in Colorado, and we're hoping for the best. Maybe something like this. Get within bow range. <laughs> that would be nuts. But. Thanks for watching.